Okay guys, so we are now here going to look at the extended. And so with that, I will now open and show you guys my positions. Again, uh, I chose to take out of the money calls in this specific account um, or in this specific uh, market condition because of the limited downside with the exponential upside. And so here we can see that the return on MU, uh, I originally put in, um, where are we? Uh, 530 or so dollars which now has a, a more than double that position and so now we're going to go ahead and open up the options chain and look at how we came up and structuring that position i do believe during this time it's important that if you do want to trade as income it's important to in my opinion pay yourself every two weeks um if you are moving more to maybe a money management or hedge fund position then maybe wait till the end of the year to pull out uh, money so you can have that recorded returns uh, through the end of the year. But with that said, um, we're going to go ahead now and look at MU options and why I particularly structured around uh, out of money calls under these circumstances. So my strike price here is uh, for MU is $75. We are now at $63 and it has uh, three or four more months of, uh, uh, excuse me, we have two more months or so almost three uh, until the expiration. When I double the, uh, the call price, if it is an out of the money call, I often do unload almost half or maybe a third of the position. That way the rest of the trade is free. Obviously, I regret doing that with NEO. Uh, so do your own due diligence. I don't want to go into it a ton in this video as to how to scale that. Um, I might launch a class where it will go over that. But with that said, we are going to go at least three months out in the opening of any position because you can always close the account early or you can always close the option early um, if it hits your target. But if it expires worthless, then you lose all of your money. So. We're gonna go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to at least three months. So it would be April. And then we see here the open interest, which is what I like to see right away. And so we do see a lot of open interest here with the 60 call. Again, I use open interest as an indicator. I do not trade off of open interest, but we can see quite a bit of open interest here at the 60 call strike. And then a lot of interest here at the 70 and a little bit less at the 80. So we can see that the sentiment seems to be quite bullish, inversely looking at pullbacks. There's not a lot of activity. We have 8K here at 60 strike. We have 6K at 37.5 for a pullback. So something we could also consider is buying these really cheap puts in case of a unexpected catalyst move that, that can very much um, be a massive risk reward in, in terms of that but i don't even believe that there is demand at around the 37 dollar price um no i mean let's go down to the daily uh, yeah no so we're just gonna get away from that and so now how are we going to structure what strike are we actually going to get into? So one thing that I like to see is how exponential the move was in correlated industry. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see how uh, NVIDIA has moved during some of these announcements. And so we can. So the first thing I like to see is in a three month span, which is, is, is what I'm going to get into three months. Uh, what can NVIDIA actually accomplish or correlated sectors? A uh, principle or first and foremost, we would start with uh, MU. So let's look at the biggest up move in MU uh, within a three month span. So this is March, April, May. So let's look at March and July. It did do, it did almost double in price, but that was COVID. So then let's look at 8, 9, 10, 11. And again, it did another 50%, which means that even though we're at an all-time high in three months, if all things go as we have seen cyclically in this particular pattern, we could possibly expect a 50% move, at which point this would be roughly $90. Now, obviously, this is a quote-unquote gamble in the sense that it could, price has never been there, so it could not get there. But again, 
go uh, considering that we may, may very well be going into a bullish market and the tech sector and the tech industry and how things like nvidia have moved it's worth considering that in terms of your risk reward if you do have the capital to spend it in something like an out of the money call which i like to tell people that is essentially your quote-unquote gambling money in the same respect during these conditions it is a, a good thing to consider out of the money calls because you do have the limited downside if the market free falls whereas so if you buy an in the money call during this market condition and the market free falls you lose that much more because you're also losing all of the intrinsic value and so let's going let's look now at nvidia and let's see what a two month move uh has been at nvidia so let's go three four five six so this has been 14 percent and then seven eight nine so here in two months it did do 50 percent and it's kind of been there so obviously it's a much larger market cap so now let's just look at amd finally and let's look three four five six that that was an 83 percent move of amd and then let's look at here 723 eight nine here in two months then another 50 percent so all in all uncomfortable going out of the money with them which is actually what i did this is going back to a trade i already took and so with that we're going to now go back to mu and now we're going to consider if it moves along the rest of the sector we could possibly expect a 50 percent upside move ish in the next three months so at which point then we can look at the risk reward accordingly so let's go to april and here we can see that i have a rough target of maybe 90 dollars with with mu if things go as they have been and so here is obviously already at the money here we're spending because it's a 65 dollars strike uh it's all extrinsic it's all fluff right it's all extrinsic value that you're buying so it looks relatively expensive to me versus buying it outright of course you don't have the overnight risk unless you bought it outright and then bought a put accordingly which may actually be the best position i will not go into that in this video but if you're interested in that let me know and i will do so in the comments below or, or or maybe tomorrow or something like that and so we're going to go ahead and now um i, I am comfortable with the 75 which is what i ended up getting this is 144 days so this is double expectancy so in this uh, here it could actually theoretically double in price um so let's look at what the uh so it goes from let's see if there's something in between nope there's not so um we're gonna do their 50 days uh which i i really don't like unless they're super cheap um no no i, I don't like the 50 day move so let's go ahead and then consider what a risk reward would be if we spend three dollars uh, at a 75 strike and let's say we had a price target here in two months uh, roughly at let's say 70 percent given that it's moved uh relative uh, to the other ones of 50 or so percent so it could maybe double by this time which would be 120 we could uh but let's be conservative and say a hundred dollars if that was the case then we may be risking three dollars here with the break-even price of 78 dollars adding the out of the money call uh, price plus the 75 dollars for a reward of roughly 30 this is a 10 to 1 uh, uh per contract to consider or the 80 which oh, has an 82 break even so i want to go over now let's say that we want to risk a thousand dollars a thousand dollars here uh, would be roughly three calls if these three calls go to 100 we're going to go ahead and basically take that 78 dollars and then 22 dollars is uh, is uh, we'll put us at a hundred dollars so then it will be roughly uh two thousand two hundred dollars times three six thousand dollars at a hundred dollar target um for a thousand dollar risk so that's a six to one or so whereas to here if we wanted to risk 80 with two dollars we would do an 82 break even price but would have five calls 
at five calls times uh, 20 or so dollars that it would be worth, um, we would have uh, 85 times two, that would be 18 times five, that would be roughly 10-ish thousand dollars um, minus two, so it would be like 9,000. So in this case, that we would be looking at at a potentially um, nine to one risk reward. So let me just run the math uh, with that. Let's see, let's do a calculator. Calculator. So if we wanna risk $100, we're going to do, or if we wanna risk 1,000, excuse me, then we would do three calls at $75. So then a three, so so then the break-even price uh, for that would be 78, uh, 78.10, let's say. So 78, or so let's do 100 as our target, minus a break-even of 78.10. Oh wait, 100 minus 78.10 equals, God, clear, 100 minus 78.10 equals $2,100. So in this case, a 300, so, so okay, so times 100 shares, equals 2100 times three contracts is $6,500. So this is a 6.5 to one risk reward ratio. If we did the 80 at $2 and uh, let's say uh, here the bit in the ask, let's just say um, the mid would be uh, 80, uh, let's say 80 to 10. So 100 minus 82.10 is 82.10 equals 17 times 100 because it's 100 shares per contract. And we can afford five contracts with a thousand dollar risk times 100 equals 17 times five. So yep, $8,900, so like I said, roughly $9,000. So this is an 8.9 risk reward for that same $1,000 risk. So this looks like the better trade, but you can kind of get the idea. You can do all that, so on and so forth. Once I, I go into the 85, and so I, I'd rather stick with the more conservative number and actually get a, a, a good uh, fill uh, or actually convert them into intrinsic value. And so that's how we can calculate this particular move. So with that said, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, nothing I say is a buy, sell, or hold recommendation. You can lose all or more of your capital trading and investing in the financial markets. This is simply for entertainment and education no purposes only. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this extended video on today, November 23rd, regarding Micron. Let me know what you guys want to see next. This website does have a lot more content both uh, spiritual in nature and psychological as well as trading uh, so with that said guys thank you so much for coming in to the extended video and i'll see you guys next